Good morning, it's Lucky down in the Western Paddock and I'm going to start with this plant because I keep forgetting what it's called. It's called something else in America which I can't remember and I keep forgetting it. It's called coriander here in Australia. My coriander starting to go to seed which is okay but I keep forgetting it and I keep mucking up my recordings. So we're going to start in this bed today. Sweet alyssum, it's flowering beautifully. I've got it popped around in different beds. That's to help bring in bees and other beneficial pollinators and people that use, or well, not people, but little insects that like to feed on them. Endive is doing absolutely fabulous here. I moved it from where they were, which was in against the peas. They didn't like that area very much, so I just dug them out. And my lettuce is, oh, look at that. They are absolutely booming along this one with this rain we've been having it's heartening up beautifully which is really lovely and so are my great lakes so when they heart i'll be able to and fill up i'll be able to get them in but something's been eating them so it's not good news so i don't use anything i don't use snail pellets or anything it's all done by checking by hand and sight and just doing that got strawberries coming so that's really good so a couple of them got flowers on them these come from a friend so this is going to be a de designated strawberry bed but until then I'll just keep popping some little plants in more lettuces more sweet alyssum got some weeds I'm going to be getting out today for the chooks this area here I was talking to Pat about it now we've got an aeroplane going over Tell you what, just trying to get this recorded. We we'll wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, this is going to have cori, not coriander. See, oh, now I've remembered it. It's going to have comfrey. I'm going to put about three plants in here. I want this to fill up with comfrey, this area here, and then I can harvest it for composting, for the chooks, and things like that. So that'll be done soon. Cauliflowers are doing well. Got a few cabbages still. Got extra, extra flowers coming on the tomatoes. More flowers, flowers there, as well as these that I pointed out when I planted them. A couple of cabbages still to go. More alyssum. Loving eating these spring onions, and then I'm um, thinking I'll put tat soy or something in there. Stake these up. This is my dill going there. Look at that. Look at that. Got a little fly. Can I find it? Oh, he's floating off. There he is. There he is. So that's all starting to straighten up, which is really good because it was very curly and down here to the stage where coriander, I remembered it. When the rabbits ate my sage, I thought it was all gone. So I got a couple of cuttings off a plant I gave to Anne months ago and come down here, straighten the dill plants up and there's my sage so that's great look at this golden marjam Mar marjam i wish they just using the less easy names it's got a golden tinge to it so that's beautiful and of course oregano's growing more sweet alyssum more coriander and i've most finally most the, the garlic and the leeks look at all my new shoots that are coming on the lemon tree it's absolutely fantastic Potatoes are starting to come up, and I've got a few more, but I need to mulch them again, once again. So, there's a few things that have changed. One of them is this. It's sweet pea. Flowers are going to be starting to flower. My nana grew them every year, and I've never grown them. My nana's been gone just over 20 years, so that's for her and for me. Parsley, looks like it could be starting to think about going to... The seed as well, which is good. Nothing like volunteer, volunteer seedlings. Eating a few of the beetroot now, so that's going to be a regular thing. Now that's the rain we've had overnight, 18 mils. So that's good, that way I know if it's rained or not. Coriander! Isn't that great remembering it? So that's what's happening, but it's really responding to the, the rain we're having. Of harvested all the chilies, given it a feed of cow manure, freshened up the mulch, put my rocks back on top and given it a prune. 
so that's fine this is starting to thicken up and get some weeds as well which is darn annoying so that'll feed the bees again another carnation coming out and flower so there you go that's what it is not long and these will be sitting here with mulch i've just got to get a couple more packets of some um potting mix just to go over the top just to top them up a little bit more and then it's all ready so a few weeds for the girls today but that's what's happening so looking very very wet very very happy today the sun is shining a slight breeze can't get anything better than that bye for now